Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dan Jenkins from the Steel Camel Company based in Tampa, Florida. Today, we're going to introduce you to our technology that removes and blocks water from getting into fuel tanks. As we all know, water does a lot of damage to fuel tanks. It does a lot of damage to fuel engines, and particularly the fuel injector, and it causes problems. So I want to show you a little bit about how our technology addresses it. So first, come on over here, Sam. I want to show you two types of problems. One is water in the fuel column. It is suspended or emulsified, and that gets into the compression chamber, and it does not compress, and it blows out a little black smoke out of the back. This could happen in gasoline, diesel, biodiesel, and even E85. So this is emulsified water. We're also going to talk to you today a little bit about free water. If you can see that, Samuel, zoom in there. That's free water on the bottom. It comes from condensation, comes from delivery, comes from leaks in the fuel tank, it comes from leaks in the sumps and the spill buckets, and people get water in the bottom of their fuel tank. So to address that, we're going to show you how our technology works. So, have this nice cup of water, and we're going to add our technology to this solution. And you're going to see it start to climb. It's actually absorbing water in a different fashion than a baby diaper formula. A baby diaper absorbs water and stays wet. This actually breaks hydrogen and oxygen into separate compartments and it doesn't stay wet. And we'll show you in about two or three minutes how this is completely bone dry and you won't be able to get a, um, you won't be able to get a drop of water. It's even started. Look at that, Sam. How about that? Cool. We have that. That's the basis of our technology, and we use it in all our products. This is clean diesel fuel, and today I want to show you a little bit about how we add water and how we use our products to remove free water. So, take that. I'm going to add a little water to it. And as you can see, it's down on the bottom. So how we address that is with our camel tail products. This is a miniature one and I'm going to drop it in here. And it takes about uh, five to ten minutes and it will start absorbing the water off the bottom. We have these camel tails in two sizes. This is a two by twenty four, holds about twenty eight ounces of water, it has a weight in it, has a very robust string and it also has a uh, grabber so it doesn't go into the tank. You could either lay it on the bottom if you have free water on the bottom or you could suspend it vertically and get the suspended water out of the bottom and this will swell like a sausage. It takes about mm, 24 to 48 hours depending on how much water you have. And let me show you what it looks like. Oh, We also have the smaller one which is a 1 inch by 18 inch holds about 6 to 8 ounces of fuel. Again it's got a weight got a string and just drop it in or you lay it on the bottom. Let me show you what it looks like when we're done. You see, emulsified water and fuel, put the camel tail in, crystal clear, crystal clear. So that's how it works. Okay, so let's move on to a little other technology and we'll come back to this. So I want to talk to you about emulsified water and how we get emulsified water out of fuel. We use our technology which is the powder infused in filter paper which is in this filter. This is the 4x5, holds 11 ounces of water, also used for fuel dispensers. This is the 4x9, holds 16 ounces of water. These are used for hydraulics, diesel fuel, uh, some dispensers. So let's show you how this works. Let's step over here. Man. We're going to take this machine and we're going to turn it on and we're going to add some water to it. And we're going to get it cloudy. I'll shake it up. Is it cloudy, Sam? Yes. Okay, it's cloudy. So now we're going to turn on our technology and we're going to watch how we take emulsified water out of fuel. And this can be gasoline, diesel, 
biodiesel or E85. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it on. Get a picture of that, Sammy. Another three, four minutes, that will be gin clear. Okay. Keep an eye on that. So a couple other things that we have. So let's go back to the camel tail and see how we're doing. It's starting to swell, as you can see. I'm going to push it down a little bit. We're going to get the water out. We're going to get that water out. And it grabs it, and it's going to turn it in to a little pillow of water. And again, it needs another minute or two. Again, what's nice about our product, once we grab the water, we hold on to the water. So let's see. Remember that was water? Dry as a bone. Unlike the baby diaper formula found in our competitors, if you squeeze a baby diaper, water will come out. With ours, no water comes out. Very cool. And another thing about this product, it grabs water that is bonded to alcohol. So those E85 users out there, those E10 users out there who have suspended water in their fuel column, drop the camel tail on or drop the filter or use the filtration and we can get that very difficult water to get up. So let's go back and check to see how, see how we're doing over here, Sam. Looking clear? Definitely. So it takes about two minutes, maybe three minutes, and that's done. Okay. Let's come back over here. Finish this off. Let's see how we're doing here. Ah, uh, we got a little bit to go. So I'm going to put that back in. Get that down there. And this is what it will look like. It will swell, the camel tails will swell to like a pillow. So you can see that, it will swell to a pillow. It takes about 18 hours, 24 hours, sometimes 48. It depends on how much suspended water and how much free water you have in the bottle. So to review, steel camel technology will take out emulsified water and free water. We have two ways to do it. We have the camel tails. in the two inch, and then the camel tails in the one inch. We have the filters in the four by five, and the filters in the four by nine. They come with the filter heads, they're very easy. We also have bushings that go on engines and so forth. For those of you with condensation, water pumps, you picked up bad gas at a gas station, your tank's been sitting outside, you had someone leave the cap off, got water and you don't want engine problems, I highly recommend steel camel, backup generators, trucks, snowmobiles, heavy equipment, cranes, excavators, anything that sits outside where the temperature changes and you're getting that condensation, steel camels for you. It can be found at steelcamel.com. There's our website and we're based in Tampa, Florida. You can reach us at 813-877-4665. Thank you much for watching.